Meet Galileo Galilei, one of the most celebrated scientists and influential thinkers of all time. Galileo was born in Pisa, Italy in 1564. When he was coming of age in Renaissance Europe, math and science were heavily influenced by the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, who understood the world using pure thought, logic, and philosophy. Aristotle had devised a model of the universe that placed Earth at the center. All the stars and planets, the sun and the moon, orbited around us. Aristotle's model provided a convincing explanation for why objects fall and for how the universe works. But Galileo was about to make a series of discoveries that would turn everything upside down. He did it by introducing a new method for understanding the universe, experimentation. It was a revolutionary idea, and it led to some of the most important scientific advances of all time. Galileo's first breakthrough came when he started experimenting with how objects fall. The accepted opinion at the time was that the speed of a falling object depended on its weight. Galileo's experiments showed that the speed of a falling object depends only on the height. The longer an object falls, the faster it falls. Galileo's laws of motion laid the groundwork for some enormous steps forward in science. Nearly a century later, Isaac Newton combined Galileo's laws of motion with Johannes Kepler's laws of planetary motion to produce the first scientific theory of gravity. There would be no Newton without Galileo. My name is Davide Gaiotto. I hold the Campbell Galileo Galilei Chair in Theoretical Physics at Perimeter Institute. More than 450 years after Galileo, I am following his footsteps, using mathematics to understand our universe. There is a famous quote from Galileo in which he says, Nature is written in mathematical language, and its letters are triangles, circles, and other geometric figures, without which it is humanly impossible to understand the world. Galileo understood the mathematical principles can explain the physics of our world. We just need to discover them. That insight is one of the reasons scientists, from Isaac Newton down to me, my colleagues, and even students who are just getting started, owe so much to Galileo. In 1608, something happened that changed Galileo's life and human history. The first telescope was invented in the Netherlands. In 1609, Galileo pointed an improved version of the telescope at the night sky. He observed thousands of new stars, more than anyone realized existed. This telescope opened a whole new world of possibility. Galileo discovered that the Milky Way was a band of stars and not some form of cloud, something that had been guessed at by others, but never proven. He showed that the moon was pocked with huge prominences, valleys, and chasms. He was able to see that Venus went through phases similar to the moon. And most famously, he discovered four new worlds orbiting around the planet Jupiter. It was a revelation. The old Aristotelian understanding of the universe, with the Earth at the center of everything, suddenly became less convincing. If there were moons orbiting Jupiter, then maybe Earth isn't the center of everything. The implications were astronomical. Surely it is a great thing, he wrote, to increase the numerous host of fixed stars previously visible to the unaided vision, adding countless more which have never before been seen, exposing these plainly to the eye in numbers ten times exceeding the old and familiar stars. A century earlier, astronomer Nicholas Copernicus had suggested that Earth might orbit the Sun, but he couldn't prove it. Galileo, with his telescope, found the evidence. Copernicus had been right. My name is Kendrick Smith, and I'm the director of Perimeter Institute's Center for the Universe. I study cosmology, the laws of physics that govern the universe on its largest scales. It's the same thing Galileo was doing with his telescope in 1609. He saw further than anyone in human history had ever seen, and he wanted to understand his new discoveries. That's the core of the scientific method, and it's what drives physics research to this day. Today we know things about our universe that Galileo couldn't even dream of. We know about black holes, objects so extreme that space-time collapses and even light can't escape. We know about the cosmic microwave background, the first light from the early universe. 
We've seen the first glimpses of profound mysteries, dark matter and the quantum mechanical Big Bang. Uh, but how do we know these things? Our method? We owe so much of that to Galileo. Galileo made many other scientific contributions in his life. He designed one of the first pendulum clocks. He conducted an experiment to measure the speed of light. He developed instruments to help determine latitude and longitude at sea. And his ideas about relative motion were the basis for Einstein's biggest breakthroughs in the 20th century. But Galileo's most significant gift to modern science was his commitment to experimental evidence. He showed that ideas must be tested by experiment. And when the evidence doesn't match the ideas, we have to chase down new answers. Today, at the cutting edge of physics, we are still chasing answers. Like Galileo, scientists in the 21st century are exploring the universe from quantum to cosmos and seeking to understand the laws of nature. There is so much more to discover. Who knows what we'll find next?